people, they brought us Tesla, and they brought us the Chevy Suburban, or the Escalade, or the Yukon. Today, I'm going to be presenting you the ultimate and the best Chevy Suburban that has ever come to North America. Now, remember back then, did you have the old Chevy Tahoe, which had zero option, was ugly inside and out, consumed gas like forever. And then came the Cadillac Escalade, the old one. The first generation was just a Chevy Tahoe, but with a leather upholstery. Had the same engine, had the same looks, just was catalyzed. But that's not what today is. Today, it's a luxury vehicle, especially if you get it in the ultimate trim, the LTZ Premier. I mean, look at this thing. It's chrome. There's these huge 22-inch wheels, and it's just awesome and it scares the shit out of people when you're on the highway i like i said this is a chevy suburban suburban being the xl version of the tahoe you have yukon xl and yukon normal and for the escalade it's the escalade esv basically this is the way to go i mean yes you can have the chevy tahoe but the chevy tahoe is short this is huge and for my standards, this is the best looking of all of the Yukon and the Escalade. It just works. It's the nicest one because of these beautiful 22 inch wheels. The chrome is everywhere. The tail lights and the headlights are just gorgeous. And maybe it doesn't have the best interior out of the two, especially if you get the Denali or the Escalade. But the outside looks is what everybody sees. And yet, you still have beautiful leather interior, all the technology in the world, space to heaven, and it's a Chevy. It's not an Escalade, but yet it does everything just as well. The beauty of this vehicle is the trunk space. The trunk space, this is the tailgate. And yes, it's power operated, of course. But that's not the only thing. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's power operated, but yet, if you don't want to open the big tailgate, you just want to flop something in there. There's a button right next to the Chevy badging. You press it and the window itself lifts up. Now that's pretty cool. Now there's a lot of crap in this car, but uh, point being, I will now demonstrate the power operated third row seats. That is right. You get a third row, but it's power operated. As I will now demonstrate. So here you have the buttons to control everything. So you click these and up they go. Easy, simple, with no hurry. And you wanna break them back down? Just click the button. Oh, and you have, I don't know, a, ca a kayak to bring in. Just click this button and your second row themselves retract. Fortunately, you can't bring them back up, but you know, you can't have everything. You get pretty cool features. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have it, but if you were to get it, it's available. You open the door and you would have the automatic uh, stairs. Well, my God, side steps come out the running boards to help you get higher because this is pretty high. I and mean, if you look at this, if you didn't have this, man, you would have like three, two, one and a half feet of uh, Let's talk wheels. This particular Suburban has the optional 22 inch wheels. They are massive and they are gorgeous, but this is an option. If you get the LTZ Premier, uh, you would get a 20 inch wheel, which are still pretty nice, but I feel like you just want to extend yourself that you paid 90 grand. Yes, 90 grand for a Chevy, who would have thought? But you want to emphasize that you paid 90 grand, you had a lot of money, and you love your truck. I mean, look at this. Maybe it's dressed up not to go off-roading, but man, in the city, you're gonna rock your world. Getting to the interior of this vehicle, it's clear to see that this is no ordinary Chevy. The interior is all leather upholstery, and yet you still have some cheap plastic. I mean, this is still a Chevrolet. But, I mean, the cabin. You have nice wooden trim. I mean, uh, you have a beautiful center screen. Sorry, boom. And it's awesome. Now, this car pretty much has everything you 
could possibly want. It has a Bose premium sound system. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, it has a heated steering wheel, blind spot matter and monitoring, lane keep assist, radar cruise control, front collision warning, backup camera. Obviously, you want a backup camera when you have a huge vehicle like this. Because if you look behind me, I mean, there's a lot of car back there. It, it doesn't just stop it there. There's a third row. And that is pretty cool. As you see, this is pretty good. This is a virtual cockpit. This is like a $3,000 or $2,000 option. And I mean, you get every single information. You have the oil life. You have your average consumption. I am averaging 16 liters per 100 km, which is great. But there, then again, this car has cylinder deactivation. And it's just awesome. And you have more information. You want audio, go ahead. You have exactly your which radio station you are using. You have your, your phone. There is currently no phones connected, but that's not bad. And then you have the navigation, which gives you the phone blown map, which is really cool. And then you have your options. And the option, there's a lot of comfortability. You can choose your, your which kind of units you wanna use, uh, your uh, your theme of your gauge cluster, uh, which pages you want to form, your, uh, pretty much everything. And of course, if you want more information, the you give you this little website. That's cool. Anyways, we're always gonna keep it in, uh, and information because that's the most important one. All right, so it's all time for me to go take this huge tour bus, luxury tour bus, sorry, and this pure American muscle vehicle. Muscle, nah. Anyways, I'm gonna go take this car on, on the road. I've driven it a million times already. I could just personally say that sports cars, I love them. I just love this thing. And I'm gonna share my experience with you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at True Automotive Stories. And with that said, let's get on the road. The 2017 uh, Chevy Suburban. Well, let me tell you guys, it's such a big car. And when you drive it, you already automatically feel that this is huge. And it is really big, like to the moon and back big. Uh, I figured this is one of the longest production vehicles that you can buy today. I'm sure there's bigger, you know, you have the Chevy Express van and you have the Sprinter. But if you want a normal SUV, I'm pretty sure this is bigger than a, any old huge Range Rover with a long wheelbase. But that's besides the point. The point of this vehicle is, well, other, otherwise than being one of the most sold vehicles to the FBI or some something stupid like that, um, is really how comfortable this thing is and quiet. Yes, there's a little wind noise, but you know, I have 22 inch wheels on this thing. And uh, let me tell you, it is not small. And you know, speaking of the devil, I just saw a Chevy Tahoe police car pass when I was talking. But anyways, the power is okay. I mean, it's not the best, obviously, but um, I mean, it still does what you need to do. I mean, this thing has, I think, a 88,000 pound towing capacity or something like that, or low 7,000. This car can tow a lot. Well, I know, I think it's 6,000, I'm sorry. Ford Raptor does if it, it does 7,000. That, that thing can move. But this thing, I mean, I'm on the country road right now, and you see me move. There's a lot of body roll on this thing. This is not a race car, any means. But if you want to take out the family crime you can have the whole family in here and I mean you have TVs and you have internet and you have satellite radio Apple CarPlay this Bose premium system this is a car which in which you can do a long trip and you can this has a 120 liter tank you can do 700,000 kilometers with a full tank I mean this you can go and go and go and it's reliable you don't have to worry about it breaking down and that is what I'm looking into a vehicle I love this vehicle and yes it's huge and yes it's it's out of this world big and it's slow it's fat it has body roll but the point of it is comfort the point of it is you feel safe when on you're on the road and that is exactly what this car does I 
I have never met, maybe except for a big Range Rover. But those things are 125, 130,000. And yes, you pay like, how much is this? 80 grand, $85,000 Canadian dollars, that's, uh, I may add, uh, for this huge truck. But, I mean, it is a nice looking car. And maybe a lot of people are going to be like, oh, what are you talking about? It's a Chevy. I don't like chrome. I like it. And if I had to buy one car, I had a family, I didn't have, a, I just had enough money to buy one car at this price point, this is maybe what I would get. I mean, I don't have the sportiness, but I know that I'll have this car for 10 years. I'll never have one single problem with it. It will take me to A to B. And if ever I have an accident, I'll be safe. This is the kind of car that car enthusiasts hate. You know why? Because car enthusiasts like sports cars. They love, they love the experience, they love the sound, they love the driving. This car, it's no fun driving, I mean, it's a big truck. You feel it when you turn in this corner that this car is huge, it's fat, it doesn't want to do anything. But the point of it is all wrong. People want fast cars. And yes, you can get a Chevy Tahoe with 420 horsepower, but the point of it is to be comfortable. There's no, there's a compromise here. It's either you get a sporty SUV or you get this. You have sporty SUVs. You have the Cayenne, you have the BMW X5M. Uh, you, you have Range Rovers that are made way sport, like the SVR. And I mean, none of them come as close to comfort, maybe except the big Range Rover. I feel like this car is really comfortable. And for a Chevrolet, Chevy GM has been great for the last years they've been making great products yes you still have those GM plastics but at the end of the day you can live with them because you appreciate the way this car drives and you like the way this car drives not because it's fun because it's easy and that's what people want well some people I mean like I said I would buy a car like this why I like sports cars but I don't want to drive a sports car every day I mean, imagine driving a sports car every day. You have to live with the noise. You got to live with the crazy amount of horsepower, tower spin, the gas, how much it costs, the uncomfortable ride. If it's a two-seater, well, you when you have kids, you go get them, you get two. This is the kind of car that big families want because it can do everything right. Maybe not as sporty, but if you want to punch it, I mean, yeah, okay, seven seconds, but I mean, the torque is there, the power is there when you need it. And if you need to get out of a situation, oh boy, do you have enough power. I mean, 355 horsepower is a lot of power. And I mean, weight, power, weight ratio, eh, okay, 420 horsepower would be nice. But the previous owner, before he got a Suburban, he had a Denali. And that Denali was 6 seconds to 60. You feel it right away. 420 horsepower really makes this car shine. And I don't complain about this powertrain. He does a little bit. But this car drives great. And that is why I am recommending this car. If you're looking for full-size SUV and you're ready to pay 80 grand Canadian or around 65 grand American and you're American, you're pro-American, and you want, a, you want a, an American vehicle, yes, you can get the Escalade, yes, you can get the Denali Yukon, or the basic Yukon, but those cost $95,000 Canadian, so you're up by 10 grand, and 10 grand brings you the long way. And when this vehicle does exactly the same thing as both the Yukon and the Escalade, it's, it's worth every penny. So this is why I'm recommending this car. It's a great value, it looks great, it's comfortable as hell, and you have all the technology in the world. But with that said, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm doing my conclusion right here. I love this car. I don't like sports cars as much as I should, but this car, I would get it. It's a great vehicle. But with that said, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm sorry for the big delay between, I know I say weekly, but I don't have enough time, but I will do my best. Anyways, guys, take care.